We're going to go through a very quick demo of how to get Superbase set up on a DigitalOcean server. The DigitalOcean server that I've set up is just a Ubuntu server, so let's get started. Here on the right hand side I have a console connected to my Ubuntu server. It's a completely empty server, um, so I'm just going to step through this self-hosting with Docker guide. There are a couple of prerequisites to uh, using uh, Superbase. One of them is Git, which is already installed on Ubuntu. The other one is Docker. Now, Ubuntu doesn't come installed with Docker, so I'm going to pull up the DigitalOcean guide on how to install Docker. And it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of copying and pasting each one of these into the console. I'm going to do this and then speed it up. Great, with that now done, I should be able to see Docker running in the background, and you can see it's active. The next thing we're going to install is Docker Compose, and this one as well is very simple. There's a guide on DigitalOcean, and it's just three commands. It's a matter of copying and pasting these into the terminal, and we should see that Docker Compose is available. I'm running version 2.3.3. With all the prereqs installed, we can go back to our guide and we're just going to copy each one of these running Superbase commands. The first thing is to clone this into our repo. Sorry, clone this into our server. This is taking the official Superbase repo and inside that you'll find the Docker images. Now I'm going to move into the folder and I'm going to copy the default env vars which need updating but for this demonstration I'll copy the default ones and then I'm going to pull all of the images. Once all of the images are pulled it should take around one minute we can now start Docker Compose. In the background, the dash D command here means it's running in detached mode. You'll see that the database container will start up first, and once this is ready and active, uh, then the rest of the services will start. We can check these services just by running Docker Compose PS, and all going well, we have all of our images running and healthy. Now that we have all the services running, we can access them via the uh, IP address that we were given when we started our Ubuntu server. So I'm going to copy this and for now I'm going to start this on port 8000. This will ask for a username and password which you should definitely update as soon as you can but for now I will show you the default config which is Superbase and a password, which is this password is insecure and should be updated. Once you specify these, then it will take you to the dashboard for your database. You can then use this dashboard to set up new tables, um, hello world, and I will add a column called name, assign this a text, And you can see that you can insert some data directly from this dashboard and you can access the various services, the SQL editor, the database configuration, the auth services, the storage, and the logs. Now, you should definitely spend some time stepping through the securing your service steps. This is going to step you through how to update your env file. Please never deploy your Superbase setup using the defaults which I've shown on this video. You must go through and update all of these before using it in production. We also have some common configuration recommendations. For example, configuring an email server, um, changing the storage mechanism to work with S3, and various other things which may be useful depending on your setup. That's all for the self-hosting with Docker. 
do let us know if you have any questions and we'll make sure that we improve this guide over time with any suggestions.